Okay, hi everybody. So today's going to be day one of training the new horse, Miracle. I've got her used to this round pen where we're going to be working her. I've been letting her stay there so that as a two-year-old she doesn't get too rambunctious or wound up. And uh, first step, we're just going to go in there and clean the round pen. The key to this is just be normal. Uh, too often people just get wimpy around their colts and act like you're expecting them to be afraid. We're just gonna clean the stall like we would with an old horse and let her be in here with us while we do it. Be good for her. If she comes over to us, we'll let her, we'll touch her and walk off. Let her investigate what we're doing. One thing I like to do is like, I'll touch her and then I'll walk off. Then they'll turn to me. Pet her real good, and then I'll walk off. Release the pressure first. And they'll learn that you coming to them is not a bad thing. I'll go ahead and get this all cleaned up and then we'll start a lesson. So we're in here with her and I got my uh, training halter. So it's just a rope halter with knots at the top of it and I get the stiffest one I got. I don't want a soft rope, I want a firm rope. Hi baby. And then we just gotta get to where we can pet her a little. Walk up to her, easy. Try to get this on her nice and gentle like, easy. That's a good girl here, okay. Our goal today is gonna be get her feet moving, get her where we can touch her legs and get her to stand still. Maybe start teaching her a little flexing, giving to the pressure of the halter, you know, getting her more halter broke, getting her where we feel comfortable with her. Good girl, I think she probably has been lunged a little because she behaved pretty good at the sale, so we'll see. That way, go on. Good girl. She's pretty perceptive. Let's put some, put some square pressure right on her hip or on her shoulder maybe, move her forward. Good girl. When you're starting this for the first time, what you want to do, according to Monty Roberts, is send them about an eighth of a mile one direction. She kind of reject, she kind of objected right there to me sending her that head toss. So I had to focus back on her. There's first lick. We're gonna send her about an eighth of a mile this direction. Turn her around, go about an eighth of a mile the other direction. Then we're gonna turn back around to this direction again. And that's when the, the communication really starts to happen a lot of times. And his theory on that is because that's how far they would chase a bad colt in a wild herd when they were disciplining them. Okay, we're gonna change directions, so it don't take very long to go an eighth of a mile. Good, good. See how she squared up to me? Very good. Okay. I don't like how much she's slipping, but I do like how she doesn't reflect, re react to me throwing that rope over her back. That's a good sign.
Got a pretty little front end. She doesn't have much overreach in the back end. Get to watching the feet too much, not the horse, and she quit doing what she's supposed to. Get up, babe. You really gotta concentrate, because they're wanting, she, her concentration's on me. Mine gets too much on the camera. That's not good. You see how her right ear is focused right on me? Okay, I'm gonna spin her around again. Good girl. Good girl. Now we're gonna go back the other way. Now we're gonna start looking for signs for her to wanna be with us. I don't like that sign, that's a... That head toss to me is like a little bit of an objection about getting sent away. Get up, babe. There's some licking and chewing. That's good. She's slowing down, she's turning towards me. I'd like for her to drop her head or poop. I'm gonna see if she'll come towards me. Come on. I had to pull her a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see. I don't know where my camera's pointed too much. Hi, babe. Not sure about being friends yet. Okay, she doesn't wanna be friends. I'll just send her away. One. Okay, she's licking and chewing and acting pretty decent. Let me pet her all over now, like what I'll do right here. If she goes, she get, she's very green on being handled. So like I'm gonna pet her butt and stuff. And if she goes to bite me or kick me, I'll send her away. Or even if she just moves, I'll send her away and make her work, work a little bit again. Try and just get her used to it. And she's been real good, so now I'm gonna give her a little bit of a little bit of a release on that type of pressure. A little bit of, of a break so she knows that she stands there and be good, then I'll leave her alone. Hopefully, she gets to learning pretty soon that being petted is a good thing and that she likes it more than being alone. And she'll follow me off then, but she's very they told me she, they only handled her three weeks in her whole life. So for three weeks, she's doing great already. The other day, when I brought her home, the first night I brought her home, I was just scratching her tailbone, see if she liked it. She turned and tried to nip at me. She wasn't too sure about that. Good girl, good girl. Oh, you like that? Now you're gonna start following me a little? That's good. Good girl. Good girl. I just noticed her colic is right dead center between her eyes. That means the old wise tale says that means she's got a good mind. Another thing I like about her, she's a light colored palomino. She's got nice, nice dark hooves. Oh, telephone. Let's take a break. Okay, so now 
Next thing I might do, you're a good girl, start either getting her hips to give or her head to give. We'll just see how she acts. So what I'll probably ask is for this nose to come around to us and just release. That's good. Ask for that nose to come around to us and just release. Oh, she moved her butt. I don't want the butt moving. Ooh. There was a good one. Oh, and then she moved. Oh, there's a good one. Good girl. Now we go do the same thing on the other side. Good. Good. First couple times, it don't have to be a whole lot to teach them something. Very first time I've ever asked her for this. She's doing great. No, now she's trying to take it back. Good. And we go back to the other side because she did it better on this side. Give her a chance. Do it better on this side. Oh, I don't need your feet to move, just your head, hon. Ooh, that was good that time. Yeah, we'll give that a break. Okay, so the flies were biting me, so we're gonna do our first thing with fly spray here. Just pet her with the bottle until she kind of gets comfortable. That's a good girl. There, she kind of relaxed her ears. Move it back. Oh, oh, move back into me. That's even better. Oh, good girl. No, she didn't like that. Didn't do much, but oh. good girl. Oh. Oh. Oh, we gotta keep going until she quits. Whenever she releases and stops, then I'll stop. You're okay. Good girl. Good girl. See, you're okay. Oh. No. You're okay. Oh, babe. Huh? Good girl. Good girl. Who? Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. And get her used to it on this side just a little bit now. Good girl. Oh. Oh. Oh, good girl. Here, you're okay. You sure are pretty. Don't you do that.
I think what I might do is switch to something that I can desensitize her with all over more, like a rattle pack. Ooh. But before I do that, I'm gonna get to where I can pet her. Oh, you're all right. Pet her with this bottle one last time. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, I got me the rattle pack. And, uh, oh babe. This mare, every horse is funny. This mare likes you to approach her shoulder, not her head, not her face. Which, you can't hardly blame her for that. Some people don't like their face rubbed on either. So we'll respect that for now. First thing, on these first lessons, what I need to be doing is teaching her to, back, to give the pressure on this rope too. Back up, back up, back up. Back up, back. Soon as she takes a step, I release. Hopefully you can see that good in the, in the thing. But it does not have to be much of a back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Good, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Good girl. Good girl. That wasn't much, that wasn't light yet, but that's all we need is just to start. Back up, back up, back up. Good. Just drop that rope and pet her as soon as they move a foot. Back up, back up. See if you can see my pressure. Back up, boom. Release, good girl. Back up, back up. Back up, good. Back up, back up. Good girl. Yeah, let's walk off, see if she comes with us. Come on, oh, that's a good girl. See, I didn't have to pull her on that. She just, she's starting to work with us and that's a good thing. At this early stage when the horse is still fairly wild, there's something I wanted to say about how to pet, how to pat, and how to scratch on them. Smooth strokes are to calm them down. It's kind of like the mother licking the foal off. If you scratch them, they're going to take that in their, kind of in their DNA as being groomed by another horse, like scratching flies, and they're going to want to put their teeth or mouth back on you. And patting them is a little bit foreign, and it, but it's kind of used to desensitize them, to get them used to you being putting pressure on their body and then not moving off. So patting them isn't the biggest re reward. I would say stroking them is. And finding the spot where they like to be scratched is more like bonding um, like they would do in the herd, grooming each other. Good girl. And now we're going to try the rattle pack a little bit. It's a good desensitizing tool. Oh. Good. She tolerated that pretty good. Oh, now she's not though. Heck, that was scary. I can get the heck out of here before he does that again. I'm gonna try it on this side. Let her go like this until she decides to stop and face the pressure, and then we'll uh, remove it. Oh.
All right, you don't have to keep going if you don't want to. Smaller and smaller circles, and I'm not putting any more pressure on her. I mean, she's wanting to stop. I'd like for her now. If she would, yeah, licking and chewing's one thing. I would like for her to turn her head around and look at that thing. Myself. Oh. The whole point of desensitizing activities is to make the horse's response change from one of fight or flight to standing and facing up anytime it's afraid. So the horse's natural instinct would be to move away from something that makes it frightened. What we want it to do when it gets scared is just to face up to it and stop. That way when you're saddling or when you're getting on or off, the horse's natural instinct won't be to move away, it will be to stand still. What I'm wanting her to do is just touch this thing and then I'll remove it. Oh, that was good. Have her touch it again. Oh, that's good. Good. I'll just keep this up for a little while till I get her totally desensitized to every movement of this thing. I've been working with the horse a couple days, just getting her friendly and getting her used to a couple different commands. And uh, she's used to having the blanket put on her, so we're gonna put the saddle on her for the first time now. Show her the blanket again. Whenever she relaxes, I take it away. The blanket's not too big of a deal. She's letting me just throw it up on her back and not moving, so that's good. And now we're gonna try the saddle. Oh, she says that's pretty scary. Pretty scary looking thing. Hey girl, she's checking it out. I take it away from her. Good girl, come here. Good girl, yeah. yeah. Ease it up there a little. Good girl. do is before she thinks about moving just kind of back up back her up back up who right there's good and uh, probably just try to snug this before she thinks about moving yeah you're okay you're okay oh babe Good girl. We got it just barely snug, not enough to where it would keep it from going around. Back up, around her back or onto her belly. So we just need to get her feet to move and not in a forward motion where she's gonna, gonna um, buck. But we'll just try to move her back feet, move her backwards. I'll move her hips here in a second. Back up again, back up again, back up, back up. Good girl. Here, now I'm gonna try to move her hips around. Good girl, oh, oh. Move these hips this way now. Good girl. Back up. Good girl.
it's about tight enough where it wouldn't go underneath there now if if I left it. Move your hips around. Good. Move your hips around. Good. All this work makes her t take her mind off of the saddle. Move your hips. Move your hips. Move your hips. Good. Back up. 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 Good girl. Yeah, because what, what I ideally want is for her to forget the saddle is on there. That way she doesn't ever learn to buck with it on. She doesn't learn, doesn't have a bad experience on her first go around with the saddle on her back. Move your hips around. Move your hips around. Good girl. Let's move them the other way. Ready? Move. Move your hips. Move your hips around. Good girl. Back up, back up, back up. Back, back. Good. Back. Back, back, good girl. Okay, it's tight enough now. It ain't gonna go off, so what I'm gonna do, I just get out of here and let her stand with it. Those little exercises I was just doing are just getting control of her feet. I tell people in, when I'm giving riding lessons that to get a control of a horse's mind, you have to have control of a horse's feet. Too bad of thoughts yet. Shoo her away from there, Becca. All right, that's went pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is leave her for about 30 minutes. Then I'll go in there and lunge her with it on. And then we'll take it off. Okay, she's had a little while to get used to it. So now I'm gonna ask her to move on out. Everything I asked before was getting control of her feet, which makes her think and keeps her from bucking. If they're gonna buck, it's on forward movement. But I let her walk around for, get up, babe. I let her walk around and get used to the saddle so that hopefully she wouldn't buck. Walk up, babe. She's got a little hump in her back. Good girl. Walk up, babe. Walk up. Let's turn her directions. Ready? Ooh, that way. Get up. Go on. Good girl. Just throwing the whip over her to let her feel something land and hear different things. I'm not whipping her, just getting her desensitized to movement, sound. Change directions again here. Good girl. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll reward that. I liked how she turned into me and came to me. Back up. Back up. Good. Back up. Good. Back. Good. Okay, we want to go that way. Come on. Good girl.
that's a good girl. Come on, come on. Okay, so she did real good. So what I'm gonna do is just put her up in the barn or in the stall, let her eat some hay and wear the saddle for about an hour while we work with Becca's horse over there. And then I'll get her out and take the saddle back off. Good girl. Thank you.